Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Today I've been looking over on Royal API at some of the top decks over the last day. And finally, we're starting to see a slight change in the meta right before to do some balance changes. However, a deck that did catch my eye is this double win condition deck, which has the giant and the minor, and also double witch and triple spell. So it'll be good against the bait decks, which as you can see here, have a pretty high use rate. Uh, minor and the giant double win condition so against other beatdown decks in like single elixir you'd be using minor chip damage in double elixir you'd be able to use the giant a lot more you can also kite certain cards like hog and the golem giant and um, things like that with your fisherman so let's copy this deck and jump into a match and see how we do because my uh, card levels are so low, mainly the Fisherman and the Night Witch, I'm going to be playing a Grand Challenge today and see how we do. So, giving this guy some good luck already, let's give him a uh, Halloween emote. Since it is Halloween tomorrow, let's wait for him to make the first play. Unfortunately, I don't have Miner. Okay, so I'm going to Zap. And then I'll probably go Miner next if he doesn't respond, which he doesn't chooses to ignore that so let's go in with the minor so he's playing golem okay so i've got my witch so i'm probably going to go night witch first just to see if he's got some form of spell i can pull with my fisherman once it reaches my tower so it's fairly good to do it early on because i don't want um anything to break through there we go let's play this Play which here. Nice, nice activation there. Cool. So I've got poison, which unfortunately won't be any good. Like a miner on the opposite lane. Oof, okay. Play which here. She spawns anything as she going to? No, okay. So I'm gonna have to zap this. Wait for it to almost heat up and zap now. There we go. So Night Witch should take out the furnace there. Let's see. She does. Nice. Okay. So he's going to be going left lane. There we go. So I'll go right lane with my giant. Probably I'm going to play Witch behind, I think. Mainly because I can pull with my fisherman, okay. I'm gonna take this poison value, but I'm not too fussed about it being on the uh, witch necessarily, so. Let's just lock here. Okay, so that does go down. Ooh, them fire spirits are gonna connect. Oof. Okay, so I can go giant because it's um, things out of cycle. So I'm going to go fairly aggressive here. Play miner in the back. Poison down here. Got my zap ready. Please zap. Please, 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 please. Nice. Okay, look at that miner getting all that damage up there. Awesome. And then I'm going to go witch opposite lane. Just because I need to try to take this thing out as quick as possible. Let's play Fisherman up here. Nice, and then we're gonna go Miner, Poison for the win. Doesn't predict it, nice. One more hit and that's GG's, well played. Awesome first match there against a fairly heavy beatdown deck. And you can see how I controlled it using Miner. So back inside the second match. So here we are inside our second match against Furnaback. Let's see, no minor yet again, so probably will cycle, okay, maybe not. Have to log. Very aggressive start, so I'm gonna go aggressive behind this. Got my zap in case he has Infernal Dragon, but he's got a cannon which he doesn't play in the best spot. Okay, then bats are gonna get a ton of damage. Probably take the tower. Nice, 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 nice. Cool. So we've got a miner. Probably might just use fisherman to tank and start pushing opposite lane, but we'll see what he chooses to do. Let's 
to this. Uh, I'm gonna play minor up here. So yeah, I'm gonna go opposite lane with my witch. There's a wasted log to be fair, so just him throwing two elixir away there. So, okay, what a weird cannon placement. This guy can't be very good, unfortunately. Got a double witch down here. This looks like definitely a good game. Let's give him a good game. Get a miner down onto the king tower. I zap ready. I'm going to zap. Nice. GG's. Well played. Nice three crown victory towards our uh, pass rail there. Don't know why it's laughing. Back inside the third match. So here we are against somebody from Dark Ascensions. Is that a good clan? Doesn't sound like a good clan. Let's see if he beats us though. So really how and not having any luck with mine being in cycle. Not even my first six cards. So I'm just gonna mirror his switch placement, probably log. Depending on what he does. Surprise, surprise, facing the witch. I'm going to lock now. Nice. I'm gonna go with Night Witch in the back. My witch should take out that baby D. Just because of how OP she is. There we go. Nice, and she even takes out loads of them goblins for me. So I've got poison, because see, see what he's got. Okay, I'm gonna play my fisherman. Ooh, okay. I have to go with my witch. Let's see. Can go in with miner now though, so. Nice. As you can see, you can constantly apply pressure with this deck. Play miner over here. Got my zap ready. I'm just gonna play my witch goblins, okay. Just gonna take that lock value there. Let's play Night Witch here. Okay. Do forget that I feel like Night Witch should be a melee uh, range unit, but she's not, she's melee, so. Hmm. Place his witch, just gonna poison. Zap if need be. Come on, get a couple of hits back. It's nice. That witch should go down now. She does, okay. So can my witch stop this? Watch him out freeze. How OP is witch? Ooh, he zaps, okay. So again, I'm gonna go mine here. I'm gonna have my log ready because he's got his goblin gang in cycle. He chooses not to use it. Well played there. So I'm just gonna zap. Get my giant down. Need my poison down for this witch and also my log. Go on, get back in. There we go. Take out the witch. Nice, nice. Come on. Oof. Okay. I am going to zap. Let's contain my tower, I think. Oh, okay. Well played. So it's going to be a two tower game, unfortunately. If he doesn't predict this, nice. Oh no, we've lost. Oh wow, freeze, I knew he had it, I called it earlier on. Oh, back inside the fourth battle of the video. So here we are, unfortunately we lost our last match, even though I know we had freeze and finally we've got minor in cycle. So let's see. It's trainer suck, okay. Hopefully it does suck. Play impatiently, just gonna poison at the bridge there. Okay, it's fisherman just to pull out. I won't activate, but just gets a miner off my tower. And also applies a bit of opposite lane pressure. I might go night witch this lane, depending if he reacts to the fisherman. It does, okay. It's maybe worth changing lanes. Let's play a giant. 
apply minor on here. Oh, uh, missed some spear goblins. What a noob. Oh no, I didn't. Okay, missed one. I'm gonna try and get hit. Nice. Fisherman took forever to deploy there. Ooh, okay. So we've got the damage advantage. I'd say overall, definitely. So he's only damaged one tower. So I'm probably might witch right lane. Probably night witch right lane. Let's see. So I can get a lot of spell value against his deck. So I could kite that. Boom. Let's just poison this. Sap. Nice. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I'm gonna have to lock these, unfortunately. Okay, so aggressive move. It didn't quite take my tower, so it's good for me, I guess. Play my giant to tank here. See if he's got a spell. Now, he's played his stat, so I can play my Night Witch. Probably go in with Miner, but he's got his minions, so I do need to save up, to be fair. There we go. Okay. Can he take this tower? I need to predict this. Do, nice. Okay, okay, 17 seconds left to defend. I think that, is that more out of range? I don't think it's going to be, is it? No. Okay, okay. So he does take the tower there, unfortunately. Let's see. So I'm just going to zap. Please get hit, which nice, nice, nice. I'm going to go in here. Poison here. Well played on his behalf there. Look at that one skeleton. Oh, okay. Two hits off that one skeleton. Okay, so... I can almost ignore a push opposite lane. Okay, log five elixir value there, so... I'm going to go with giant again in the middle. Need my poison down. So I can mine a chip here, so... Don't really need to go worry about this too much. Especially since his goblins are all out of cycle now. Nice. GG's. Well played. Good game. We'll do one more battle for the video. So back in a second. So I am actually a huge fan of this deck. And already this guy's giving me some angry emotes. Should we give him a kiss? See if it calms him down. Let's see. Okay. So. Zap. I'll log. Okay. We'll zap. Guy's gonna be annoying, so we've got mine now in cycle. Let's do it. Fisherman over here, please. Fisherman react quick. One lumberjack hit, that's okay. Nice. So I'm probably yeah, I'm definitely gonna poison this witch. Fisherman OP. There's his baby D. I can play my giant to tank. Okay, so he's got an elixir golem, unfortunately. Should be logging as soon as. Okay, so it gives me a hell of a lot of value there. Zap. And then I can mine it. There we go. Please go down in time. Do. Okay. So poisons, that's unfortunate. Will that witch walk out? She doesn't, okay. We do have a nice like thousand tower damage lead, but I just need, really need to be careful of that clone spell. Elixir Golden Clone, although you get eight elixir if you take it down. It's lethal because of the sentient blob, so I'll start out with another push. I really need to be patient with my spells. Ooh. Okay, and not play like a new player. Like I'd 
MP is going to get melted. Nice, that's going to be towered down. A Lumberjack even goes down. Nice. So I'm just going to switch lanes to keep applying this pressure. So I'll be able to get back. Hopefully this guy gives up. He doesn't. Okay. But that Night Witch does change lanes. So that's really good for us. Take that out, nice, okay, so fair few bats spawn, but that's okay. So this is where I need to be careful of this clone spell, so I'm gonna have to poison here just to stop him using that clone whatsoever. There we go, okay. So hell of a lot of elixir there, like I say, so that is GG's, well played. Good game, let's give him some good luck against a fairly tricky matchup there, he just didn't play it that well. So thanks very much for stopping by guys, I'm a big fan of this deck. Please try it out and let me know how you guys do in the comments below. And please remember to like and subscribe for future content. Until next time, peace.